Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Simon the Sorcerer, part two. I've been uh, waiting so long, Simon's turned into a pile of bones on the ground, as you can see. But it's just an illusion. How's it going, man? Dwarf. And it's going fine. So, uh, got anything interesting to tell me? Any folk songs to sing, etc, etc? Afraid not. Okay, bye. How's it going, man? Dwarf. And it's going fine. Afraid not. Okay. Alright, guess we're done talking to him. Let's talk to the fat bloke. Greetings, fat bloke. Go away, boy. No one's going to come here with you loitering about. Make sure you take the book when he has the gorilla head on. Excuse me. Hold it right there. Can you see this flower? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Is this a trick question? What's wrong with this guy? Have you quite finished? Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just my little joke. <laughs> Here, shake. Okay. <laughs> what a sucker! <laughs> <laughs> Simon pissing his mouth when he's got it open like that. I'm not staying here to be humiliated. Well, if it isn't Mr. Sucker. Mr. Sucker? Watch out behind you! What? See what I mean? There's nothing there! Exactly! You have to be the most irritating person I have ever met! Here's my card! Dr. J. Beagle, purveyor of jokes and costumes. Costumes made to order. You're a doctor? I do negative psychology. Negative psychology? I'm highly trained to bring out the worst in people. <laughs> Great. Right. 
Alrighty then, thanks for your card, Dr. Douchebag. I got crabs! I got crabs! They're horrible little armored fish things. Goldilocks is hiding behind the crate here. Let's see if she'll talk to us. Honor. Okay, you seem straight to me. What can I do for you? Gonna start turning the music off during the conversations. Even though there's text, it's it's kind of overbearing on the speech. Why are you hiding behind these crates? I'm on the run. They've been on to me ever since the three bears job. I'm gonna escape on one of these boats. What's the three bears job? I did over the three bears there. There wasn't anything worth taking though. After I'd gone to all the trouble of breaking in as well. So I thought, I'll just have a sit down in this chair and munch a bit of porridge. Then I felt a bit sleepy, so I went for a quick lie down. Next thing I know, there's all this cursing and screaming from downstairs. Luckily I nicked off sharpish or there would have been some trouble. Didn't realise Mr Bear was none other than the chief of police. I'm going to escape on one of them boats. If you're in such a rush to escape, why are you still here? I tried to stow away in one of the crates, but I couldn't get them open. Guess I'm stuck here until another method presents itself. Who are you? Me real name's Mary. But I'm known to the authorities as the Goldilocks. The Goldilocks? That's right. I'll see if I can help you with the crates. Thanks. I'd be very grateful if you would. I'm trying to sell this Hawaiian beachware. Is it black? I doubt it. I'm not interested then. What do you do? You mean you don't know who I am? I'm not from around here. Take a look at this. Wanted. The Goldilocks. Charged with fraud, grand theft, resisting arrest, breaking and entering, and being far too... They're really after me now, though, ever since I'd done the three bears job.
Stay here. I'll be back later. I'll be around. Back to hiding. It's a left-handed crowbar. What a strange suggestion. I wouldn't want to compromise my mysterious sorcerer image. What are you doing? This is perfect. There's no room for all this lot in here. Thanks for your help. Bye. Not a problem. No, I got about a wig. And a rubber dinghy. You like my rubber dinghy? Look at that goofy motherfucker. All right, mate. Greeting, Wana. around here I just come in from Calamari man I've come to this wonderful city to make a name for myself my name is Umbongo and I'm most pleased to make your acquaintance my name's Simon and I'm from the Department <laughs> of Immigration pleased to meet you Simon from Department of Immigration your cities definitely do have long names here. <laughs> the name Simon, in fact, means rabbit's colon, where I come from. And a hat like that symbolizes... So, I'm a stupid rabbit's colon. <laughs> this is a traditional hero's name in my village. In my language, umbongo means a blend of tropical fruits. <laughs> my friend, I had no idea you could speak my language. Must be jet lag. <laughs> Have you simply come here to get on my nerves? No, Buana. I'm here as a dance instructor. I'm going to teach my special rain dance to the world. Rain dance? Watch this, Buana. Booga looga, booga looga, booga boo. With a few more people, I could make it rain over the whole city. Then you could make a fortune by selling umbrellas. I am going to use my dances for the good of the people. At the moment, there is no way of guaranteeing rain for the crop. Except when Australia are struggling for a draw in a test match. I think Big Mike's been messing around with my script again. And there's nothing you can do about it since I checked the final version. Simon is an ugly, sad act. And he's still a ver... It's a second-hand joke anyway. It is a shame I forgot to bring my group of dancers with me. Do you have any? Take a shaft at this poster. This is just the thing I'm looking for. Thanks very much, man.
It's a funny old world. All right. Magic competition. Three Bears Cottage. It's one of those things that letters get left in. Things are not really compatible now, are they? I don't think it'd fit in my hat. I'm not lugging that thing around. It's got the three bears address on it. Just tear the bolts and chains open with my bare hands, shall I? Exactly. All right, well, we can't get in there yet. Let's head on over to the loan office. You're a jester, are you? Uh, would you like to hear a joke? That's a funky looking jester. As long as it's not the one about the vicar and the contraceptive jelly. Well, I don't know that one. Well, it seems that there's this vicar and this nun, and they were... Please, let me tell you mine. I need someone to tell me what they think of my new jokes. Okay then, fire away. Right, uh, what do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Pigeon head? Cliff. Get it? Yeah, Cliff. it's terrible. See? <laughs> because seagulls sit. I get it. Ha ha ha. No, I've got another one. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? You don't call him anything. You just laugh at him. Doug! Jesus Christ. Doug! Yeah, because he's got a shovel on his head. Shovel! Doug! Doug! I think I may have spotted the problem with your jokes. Hang on, I know yeah, this suck great balls. story about... Sounds more interesting. Go on. I can't. You might spread it around. I can't believe I walked into that one. So, what do you think? You've got big problems, mate. These jokes wouldn't amuse a little and large audience. Oh, looks like I'm finished then. That's life, I'm afraid. You win some and you lose some. <laughs> we'll help him out. We have a joke book he can use. I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. I've already got it. Why don't you have a look through this?
<laughs> These are really good. You must let me give you something in return. I'm sure there's nothing of yours that I want. But take my bladder anyway. I won't be needing it anymore. Take your what? Thanks. Uh, I think that's the last time I do him a favor. <laughs> the bladder the jester gave me. Fantastic. I'm walking around with the jester's bladder. <laughs> Never flush another one of them things down the plug hole again. <laughs> Only three thousand percent interest. What a deal! All right, let's talk to this ginger bitch. I'm interested in a loan. In that case, sir, you've come to the right place. What sort of loan are you particularly interested in? One of those ones where you give me money. That's usually the purpose of a loan, sir. The important bit is deciding which of our loans is right for you. What have you got? Well, there's your basic traditional or pound of flesh loan. Further up the scale, you've got the relative collateral loan. Then there's the medical experiments loan. The first time buyer slavery option loan. We can usually tailor one to suit our specific needs. What's the score read the slavery option thing? The slavery option simply means that we are entitled to sell you into slavery should you fail to repay the loan. Is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. What's the pound of flesh loan? That's our most basic loan. We'll lend you 2,000 pieces of gold, and if you don't pay it back, we can take a pound of flesh, including blood and internal organs, from your body. Is there anything else I can do for you? Tell me about the relative collateral loan. Basically, it means that if you don't pay us back, then we send some lads around to butcher all your relatives. Is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> nice. Fill me in on the medical experiments loan. Should you fail to repay the money you owe us, we are entitled to use your body in gruesome cosmetic testing experiments. Is there anything else I can do for you? The slavery option is definitely for me. No problem, sir. You'll have to have an interview with the boss to sort out your application. You can go through whenever you're ready. Sorcerer. Mr. Sorcerer, just bear with me a second. I'm just dealing with a bad debt case. Now, 
Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. What can I do for you? Give me all your money. And your clothes, too. I'm interested in the slavery option loan. Hang on a second. I'll just find the application form. I can't seem to find a form at the moment. Would you mind coming back later? No problem. Ah, Mr. Sorcerer. Have you found the form yet? I'll just have another look. Uh, hello? Sorry, uh, can you come back later when we're less busy? Sure. Ah, Mr. Sorcerer. Have you found the form yet? I'll just have another look. Sorry, uh, can you come back later when we're less busy? Sure. Mr. Sorcerer. Have you found the form yet? I'll just have another look. I wouldn't want to compromise my mysterious sorcerer image. Sorry, uh, can you come back? Sure. Guess I can't talk to him. Meanwhile, up on the roof... Here's another one! What's the address? The Three Bears, 69, colder 69, <laughs> you know where it is? Yeah! Fire! Good shot! <laughs> Thanks. Basically, uh, those guys on the roof destroy, uh, destroy houses for people who are late on mortgages. So when we put the three bears letter on the top tray, he sent it up the two to those guys and they, uh, they chucked a fucking watermelon through the three bears roof. Effectively demolishing any of the safe, safety and security measures. Looks like I've done them a favor. They've left the tap on. Whoops. I know it still works. You broke the game console.
I'll catch that young hooligan this time. Wait, Paul. It could be dangerous. Stand aside, Ma. I'm trained to handle this. Ooh, heck. Rumbled. I'd better hide. Phew. Here I come! It's all clear, Ma. You checked everywhere, Pa? No sign of anyone, Ma. Come in. Come on, Junior. Who's been blowing up my door? And who's been drying out my sponge collection? And who's been breaking my computer? I'll bet I know who it was. Who, Pa? Her. Not again, Pa. I'm afraid so, Ma. Oh, Pa. Goldilocks, what are we that gonna bitch. Do? I don't know, Ma. Why don't you start cooking the porridge while I think about it? Okay, Pa. <laughs> I just light the fire. Poor pa. little bear's trying to play his fire. video game. What do you suppose that was, Paul? Sounded like rats again, Ma. Them jigglies. I needed a bath anyway. Did you hear about what happened to their trace? Oh, Ugh. yes. It must be terrible for you. They do say the same thing happened to your Darren once. Oh, yes. It was terrible for us. Simply, and you know what she's like. Oh, I know. Oh, Sharon used to be just the same. Did you hear about what happened to their trace? Oh, yes, it must be terrible for them. The same thing happened to old Darren once. Really? Oh, it must have been terrible for you. And you know what old Darren's like? No, oh, I know. My Nigel used to be just the same. I'm sorry to hear about your trade. It's terrible for us! And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back! And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back! Old Darren was never the same again! Mm, no, I Nigel. Terrible! We're juggling now. We'll see you in the next episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Simon's the sorcerer. Oh, I know.